Welcome to your midweek wind down. Um, if you're practicing midweek, then um, welcome or practicing at another time also. Welcome if you're watching on this recording. So we're going to start in sitting with really just a little bit of silence. So I am trying to work a little bit on just um, finding some silence and sitting um, in silence. So not necessarily meditating, but um, working towards meditating. So we're going to start with a few minutes of literally just silence. Uh, if you've got something to sit up on like a bolster, then that would be great. If not, feel free just to sit on anything that feels comfortable. And before we come to stillness and silence, then just let your hands rest on the knees or the thighs and just take a little bit of movement to begin with. Maybe just swaying the shoulders from side to side, just letting the rib cage relax a little bit. And then we'll circle the shoulders and the rib cage around. And you can just start to let everything relax a little bit. Maybe move your head and neck as you go. You can drop your chin to your chest as you come round. And just see how it feels to go in the opposite direction. You might want to just let everything be nice and kind of relax a little bit here. Don't worry too much about creating a specific shape at all, but just find some movement first. And then we're gonna just shake off through the fingertips. So just give the wrist a little bit of a shake, shake off through the fingertips, almost like you're shaking away the day a little bit. And you can do this out to the side, just to stretch the arms, just shake it off. And then bringing the hands onto the knees or the thighs, we're gonna turn the palms up to the sky. Just a gesture of gratitude here, letting the shoulders relax, letting the spine just be nice and long. And then just come and drop the chin down to the chest. We'll take a half roll with the head and neck. So draw the right ear to the right shoulder and then drop the chin to the chest, take the left ear to the left shoulder and just do this a couple of times. You can really let the head and neck be nice and relaxed, almost let the head and neck go really heavy here. Start to just relax through the back of the neck as you drop your chin down to your chest. And then as you draw your right ear to your right shoulder, just take a moment to pause, stretching through the left-hand side of the neck. If it's comfortable, you could just open and close your jaw a couple of times just to relax through the jaw, stretches a little deeper into the side of the neck. And then we'll drop chin to chest center again, left ear to left shoulder. And again, just pause here and open and close the jaw if it feels comfortable. And then drawing the chin back to the chest center, lift up through the head and neck. And if you've got the eyes open, then you may wish just to come and close the eyes now. If it's more natural for you here just to soften the gaze, then you may want to pick just a point to focus on just right in front of you. Maybe something that's not overly stimulating with words or colours. So maybe just the floor, just gazing down, just gently or closing the eyes. And we're going to start here just with a minute or so of silence. And as you're sat here in this silence, you might find that the mind feels busy, that the thoughts just start to come to the surface. That's OK. If you're noticing that that happens, then you may wish just to start to bring yourself just to your breath. So noticing your rise and your fall of your chest, your rise and your fall of your belly. Right, so just find some stillness, at least within the body. Even if the mind wants to pull you elsewhere, just gently, with kindness, bring it back. So just listening for your breath. And then from this silence, just keeping your breaths nice and steady, nice and still. I'd just like you to listen out for the sounds that you can hear closest to the body. 
perhaps just within your own room that you're practicing in. And then beginning to extend that listening just out, perhaps listening now to the sound that you can hear that's furthest away from you. Perhaps outside of the room, the wind, the rain. And staying with this stillness and this silence, we're going to count down 10 breaths together. So one full inhale and exhale is one breath. Starting from a count of 10 now. So breathing in, breathing out, 10. Inhale, exhale, nine. Keep the breaths going. Eight. Seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. And then keeping the eyes closed or the gaze soft, just take a few moments here with your breaths. Maybe starting just to make them a little deeper. And again, if you've got your eyes closed, just keep them closed now. We're going to draw the palms together. Just give the hands a little rub, create some warmth, some heat. Place the hands just over the eyes and then open the eyes here. Come and draw the palms together. Just bring the hands to the center of the chest and just take a moment to maybe notice how you feel. We're going to start to invite some really gentle movement into the body, reaching the arms above the head. Just draw, gently draw the shoulders nice and long, the elbows nice and long. Come in to take a twist. Let's bring our left hand to our right knee and come and drop the right hand behind you. It's just twisting over to the right hand side. Take a full breath in and out. Sweeping those arms into the air. Again, coming back to the center. Let's sweep the arms, elbows long, shoulders long, as tall as you can be here, keeping the palms together. And then bringing that right hand onto the outside of the left knee, dropping the left hand be behind us. Let's twist to the left. One full breath in and out. And then just bringing the hands to center. We're going to rotate through the middle of the body. So arms can be outstretched, palms resting down towards the earth. Just nice and gently twist over to the right and then over to the left, almost like you're creating a little bit of space here just around you. And then you can start to make the arms a bit wider. So maybe just twisting with the arms open here. You might find you haven't got lots of movement. The hips might be keeping us a little bit stiff. So that's okay with the hips fixed here. We're just aiming to move from the middle of the body. And just move from the right to left, again, at your own pace, your own speed, no rush here. Perhaps you can send your gaze with you as you go. So just looking with your head and neck to left and right. Nice. And then when you're ready, coming back to centre, just take a little roll through the shoulders. We're going to open our flow practice just by coming into a child's pose. So if you take um, the um, prop just out of the way, we're going to come back to using bolsters and props a little bit later. So you can completely just roll it off your mat and start to open those knees. Let the big toes come together. We're going to come to the back of the mat here so we've got a little bit of room in front of us. If you'd like to support underneath your forehead with a block, feel free. The other option is to maybe just stack through the hands or stack through the fists a little bit so you can support just with your hands. 
But let's come and bring ourselves into our first shape, our first pose for this practice. Just let those knees be nice and wide. And let the hands come and rest wherever they feel comfortable. And we're working with the theme in all my classes this week with a theme of freedom. So really just finding freedom within the breath, but perhaps some freedom within your mind or your thoughts. Often it is our thoughts that can maybe feel a little bit restrictive or stop us moving forwards. It might be the thoughts that are just clouding things a little bit. And that's when perhaps things start to feel a little overwhelming, overcrowded, and we start to lose that sense of freedom. So I would invite you here in this practice, if the mind is feeling a little busy or overwhelmed, you might want to imagine those thoughts almost in clouds. They're there, we know that they're there. But they might choose just to gently move on or drift away. They may choose to stay and that's also okay. Start to find some freedom in your breath here. So I'd like you to take as big an inhale as you can and as long an exhale as you can. So no limitation, no restriction with the breath here. Feel nice and full with the rib cage, with the shoulders, nice and full with the belly. Find just some space in your breath. At the end of that next big breath, just come back to a few more normal breaths here. We're going to bring our hands down into a tabletop position. So guide yourself just onto your hands and your knees. Cat cow straight away from here. So stack those knees underneath the hips, stack the hands under the shoulders. Start to draw the belly in. We're going to round through the belly, arch in the back, just round in as much as you can. Drop in the chin to the chest and then soften in the belly. Let's just start to look forwards, lifting the gaze to the top of the mat and really dipping the belly down. And we'll take a few here, maybe starting to wave through the spine as we go. We could soften the hips to the heels. And maybe just check in with the toes here. Often we do cat cow with those toes relaxed, but do feel free just to curl those toes under and just give yourself a little bit of a stretch into the toes, the base of the feet as we're moving between cat and cow. And really allow yourself just to find some freedom here. Not feeling restricted with how you move in any way. You may even want to bring yourself a bit wider, even bringing the hands off the mat, maybe the knees a bit wider. See if you can take it to a wider legged cat cow. And at the end of that next one, whichever pose you, you've done here, yeah, and that, let's just take another little wave. We're going to bring the hands just back underneath the shoulders, soften through the toes, knees underneath the hips, start to reach the right arm to the right ear, and just sweep the right arm all the way around. So again, nice big movement here. You again can think about just creating a bit of space on your mat. As you draw your right arm to your right hip, you could sink the hips back towards the heels again, really stretching to that left shoulder as you go. Yeah, maybe you can move your head and neck. Yeah, just move with some fluidity here. Move with what feels good. Nice, you can get the head and neck moving. And then we'll come to the other side. So come and press that right hand underneath the right shoulder. Left arm is going to lift to the left ear. We'll sweep it behind us. And again, we can start to sink the hips back as we go. This is a nice shoulder opener, but we're also opening through the middle of the back as well. So feel free just to twist through the middle of the back, a little bit like those twists that we did at the beginning. You don't need to keep the hips facing down. You don't need to keep the shoulders stacked. Just move with what feels comfortable. Nice big movement. Hips towards heels if it feels okay. And then coming back into tabletop position. We'll just give the knees a little bit of a break, the hands a little bit of a break here. So dropping yourself onto the elbows, bring the forearms down. We're going to come all the way into our belly just to come into sphinx pose. So we take the pressure off the knees, pressure off the wrists a little bit, and just lift the head and neck. 
Give me yourself a little stretch through the back, maybe lifting that chin away from the chest. It's nice. And just pressing the belly down towards it. Take a couple of breaths here, breathing in. And breathe. Come and bring yourself back into tabletop position. So hands under shoulders, knees underneath the hips. We're going to come all the way into downward facing dog. So curl the toes under. Pressing the weight through the hands, start to lift the knees away from the earth. Let's lengthen through the back, lengthen through the legs. And we'll just take a little walk out. So bend in one knee, bend in the other. If it feels a little stiff, don't worry. You could go a bit wider just with the feet, maybe taking the feet to the corners of the mat, lifting those hips high, lengthening through the shoulders. And then softening the knees down to the earth. Come and step your right foot forward. So your right foot is between the hands. Lift up through the head and neck. We're going to take a low lunge here with a twist. So keep your right hand down. Peel the left arm into the air. Come and take a twist once you're here. We've got that left knee resting down. Right foot forwards. Right knee is roughly in line with the right ankle. And once we're here, we could either stay here, left arm into the air, or we could start to sweep that left arm around, just taking a few little arm waves as we go, opening through the shoulder, and again, just rotating through the middle of the back as we go. Nice. If it feels too much, you can always either stay with the hands down or just reaching left arm into the air. And then if you'd like to see if you can catch for that back foot as you bring your left arm round, we could maybe bend that left knee and just see if we can catch hold of the toes. Don't worry if you can't, but just a little challenge there. <laughs> nice. And then releasing the left leg, we're going to guide that right knee underneath the right hip. Coming back into sitting, just give the knees a little bit of a break, maybe just rubbing into the knees. A little circle even into the wrists here. Nice, just releasing everything. And again, we're going to repeat that little sequence on the other side. So starting from a downward facing dog, so pressing the hands down, hands under shoulders, knees underneath the hips, curl the toes under, take a breath in. Then we exhale, lift the hips up to the sky, lengthen through the back of the legs, take a walk out here, lengthen in the shoulders, spread in the fingertips nice and wide. Take a walk out here, soften that belly. Bring the knees down to the earth, come and step that left foot forwards again between the hands, left knee in line with the left ankle, and we've got our right knee, right hip just pressing down. Keeping that right hand down, come and reach that left arm into the air, just take a little twist here, again just opening up through the shoulder, and again we could stay here, or we could circle that left arm around, nice, maybe just taking left arm towards left knee and then all the way behind us. And if the knee feels okay, perhaps we could bend into that back leg and maybe just catch hold of the toes with our left hand. Again, don't worry if it doesn't work. Nice. Sometimes the knee can be a little uncomfortable here, so no need to force. We're going to release the leg if you caught it. Guiding left knee underneath the leg, hip, come back into a child's pose. Open the knees, just sending the hips backwards, giving yourself a nice wave, long here through the spine. Maybe just find a little bit of movement, guiding the hips just from the right to the left while you're in this child's pose. Really just allow yourself to lengthen through the arms. And we're going to take a low lunge again to come into standing. So from a tabletop position, you're going to draw that right foot forward again between the hands. Curl the left toes under, press the left knee up to the sky, lengthen all the way here, lift up through the head and the neck. We're then going to step our left foot to meet the right. You might want to take a few little rocks here just to give yourself a little bit of momentum, rocking forwards and backwards on the right foot and on the left toes. Press the left foot to meet the right, come all the way into a forward fold. Take a little kind of hug of the elbows here, release through the back. Nice, just swaying it now. And then press the hands down, take a step back, downward facing dog, lift the hips nice and high, come back into downward facing dog, and just give the feet a little walk out. So maybe bend in one knee, bend in the other. Soften the knees down to the earth, 
urn curl through the toes. Same thing, left side. We step left foot forwards. Guide left foot between the hands. Curl the right toes under. Press the right knee up to the sky. Take a moment to pause here. Full low lunge. And again, we're stepping right foot to meet left. You might want to take a few little rocks again just to find that momentum as you go. And then when you're ready, right foot to meet the left, come all the way to the top of the mat, take as many little steps as you need, and just sway it out here. So bending the knees, maybe taking hold of the elbows here, just giving it a nice sway out. We're going to come into standing. So slowly unravel, just peel yourself all the way into standing. And hopefully we're at the top of the mat. If not, we might be at the back. <laughs> then just bring yourself to the top of the mat if you're not there already. We've got the feet hip distance apart and a little soft bend in the knees. Let's take a roll through the shoulders, just releasing before we come into a little bit of standing work. So starting by bringing the left leg behind you, we're bending our right knee, come into a standing warrior one. Let's reach the arms into the air, lengthen through the shoulders and press that right foot down towards the earth. Lovely, take a moment to pause here. Pressing left heel down, draw the right arm forwards, left arm behind, second warrior, stand in warrior two. Check in with your back foot here. You want your left foot, the back foot parallel to the mat rather than that left foot rotating out. So just check in with what the back foot is doing. And it wants to be parallel, yeah, just to the mat here. We've also got our right foot, right toes facing the top of the mat. So facing forwards, 12 o'clock. Check in with the feet, lift the shoulders, just bring that belly nice and strong, tuck the hips in and we're breathing here. We're going to stay here for three full breaths. Find those nice long breaths, breathing out, breathing in, strong through the body, soft through the mind. Take your left hand onto your left leg, come and sweep the right arm above the head. Take a glance behind you and come into reverse warrior. So back bend here, we're taking three full breaths. One more breath. Bringing our right hand onto our right leg. Come and peel the left arm into the air. We're going to start to straighten our right leg, coming into triangle or trikonasana. So your right hand slides down the right leg. It could come above the knee, maybe below the knee, around the ankle. And we're pointing our left shoulder, left hip bone up to the sky. Left arm is long. Three full breaths here. Stay with it. Nice, slow breath. Soften the jaw, strong through the feet, open and wide here through the arm. Press the hands to bring your right leg, guide your left knee down to the earth, uncurl through the left toe. We're coming back just into that low warrior position and start to guide that right leg nice and long. So press the weight through the right toes, right heel. Just give yourself a little release here through the back of that right leg. As you go, we can lift the head and neck and then maybe round through the spine. Lift through the head and neck, round through the spine. And we're coming back to standing in that same transition, full low lunge, curl the left toes under, press that left knee up to the sky, take a moment to pause here. We're stepping left foot to meet the right. Again, feel free to take a few little rocks before you come here. Both feet together, top or back of the mat, bend the knees, just sweeping those arms into the air, take a breath in, and on your exhale, open the arms nice and wide, lovely, again, just shake everything out, just give the arms a bit of a shake, the toes a bit of a shake, we're going to come to that practice on the other side, so starting at the top of the mat, Bend the knees, take a step back with your right foot, bend your left knee, and reach the arms into the air, so stand in warrior one again, Three full breaths in and out. Find your focus, look to the top of the mat. One more breath. 
Pressing that right heel down, send the left arm forwards and the right arm behind. Again, come and check in with the feet position here. This time, left foot forwards, 12 o'clock, top of the mat. We've got our right foot parallel. So again, if your heels rotated either in or out, think about the heel just being in line with the toes or the little toe parallel to the mat here. Staying strong, lift the belly, tuck the lower back in, and look to the top of the mat, finding that gaze again. Palms down, three full breaths. And just one more breath. Taking your right hand onto your right leg, sweep the left arm above the head, take a reverse warrior. You could look behind you to the back foot, or we could look up to the left palm. Again, we're staying here for three breaths. Come and bring the arms all the way to frame that left foot. Guide the right knee to the earth, uncurl through the right toes. Take as long as you need to get here. Low warrior, we're guiding that left leg forwards and backwards. Half runner's lunge or half monkey lunge. Just drawing the left leg long, pressing the left knee down to the earth, lifting the head and neck as we go. And just opening up through the hamstring, the calf, getting the head and neck moving here, round in the back as we go. Really nice. And then guiding that left knee just underneath the left hip, tabletop position here. Start to guide your right leg off the mat. So your right leg comes out to the side, keeping the left arm down. Come and sweep the right arm into the air. So we're taking a little variation on gate pose here. Just looking up towards that right hand. And again, pointing your right hip, right shoulder up to the sky. Nice, we're gonna feed our right hand underneath our left elbow. So we're doing a variation on our thread the needle. Right ear, right shoulder, either all the way to the floor, or if it feels a little low, feel free just to take a block or a cushion, just so you're supporting, yeah, underneath the head and the neck. And we've still got our right leg out to the side. Once you're here, once you've landed, take three full breaths. Guiding yourself just back into that tabletop position. Before we bring the right leg back underneath the right hip, just take a few little sways here. Nice, so just drawing right hip towards right heel or behind us, left hip towards left heel. Guide right knee underneath the right hip, left side. You're taking the left leg off the mat completely, taking it out to the side. Our right hand, right knee stays down. Peel the left arm into the air, take a twist. Send your left arm underneath that right elbow, left ear, left shoulder come to the floor, or you could take a cushion or a block just for the left hand side of your head and neck. Our left leg stays out to the side, we're stretching into that inner thigh, just opening up through the hip here. Warm up. And then when you're ready, let's guide ourselves back into tabletop position. And then coming off the knees, we're going to sit just on the hips, hips resting down, giving the knees a little bit of a hug here. Drop the hands behind you and just take the wave with the knees. The hands could press down and you can make a little fist. Yeah, just drop the knees into those windscreen wipers here. Maybe moving the head and neck as you go, just releasing through the back. We're coming to some stiller in postures now. So just grab your bolster, maybe a cushion as well, just for your head and neck. And we're gonna start with the bolster underneath the hips. Again, it works great if you haven't got a bolster, so don't worry, the next few poses are gonna be fine without a bolster. It um, just means you may not be quite so high with the hips, but that's fine. You're gonna start with the bolster right underneath the hips, a bit like we do when we do supported bridge. So start by bringing your hips 
all the way down, bend the knees, and just come and guide the bolster right underneath the hips, or whatever props you've got, a couple of cushions will be fine, yeah. And then just let the hips start to settle. You might want to support underneath your head if it feels comfortable. I personally find it's too much with something under my head here, but it depends on how high your hips are. So it's all relative then to how um, elevated your head is really. So whatever feels comfortable. And we're going to begin with the palms facing up to the sky. Check in with the knees here. So have a gap between the knees, have a gap between the feet. And you're really just letting the hips relax here. Let the shoulders just press down towards the mat, towards the earth. And just take a moment to really land in this stillness as we start to move into a little bit more of a stiller practice. You may find again that the mind feels a bit busy. There's a few less distractions or instructions with a yin practice. But it really allows us that sense of freedom, sense of space, just to be. Here isn't about doing or planning, so it's not for you for you to use that time to really think or analyze. It's just to try and be with the body and be with the breath. So staying here for the next few moments. Come and straighten now through your left leg. We're going to hug the right knee into the chest. Take the hands onto the knee, front of the knee, back of the knee. And we'll take a one-legged stretch here. Now, if this feels too much on the back, your alternative is to come back to that supported bridge. We've got a little bit of extension, which is just an arch through the back. So just check in with how it feels here. You may feel some sensation into the left hip as well. We're also stretching through the left front of the hip, just opening up through the joint. And we'll find some stillness again, letting the toes relax, really letting your left heel and your left knee press and hang down towards the earth. If you can hear the rain, you can just think about the rain maybe washing any stress or tension away. And if you haven't got any rain, maybe just use your breath to think about that. Three more breaths. And before we come out with this, we're going to take some really gentle movements. So keeping just your right hand on your right knee, you can relax your left hand. I'd just like you to draw your right leg out to the side and then back in again. So you're keeping the knee bent to do this. It's just a really gentle little rock out to the side and back in. Yeah. Going to swap over legs, we're sending that right leg all the way to the end of the mat and then hugging the left knee into the chest again. If this feels too much on your back, feel free to come back to that supported bridge or adjust your bolster, adjust your props is the other thing. But we're hugging left knee now into the chest. It doesn't need to be super close. We're keeping the right knee, the right heel, just hanging down. And we're working to stretch through the front of the right hip. Nice long stretch through the hip flexor, which is just the muscles on the front of the right hip. 
And again, you might feel some sensation into the back as we're stretching through the back here. Coming just to find some stillness. Again, there's nothing that you need to do whilst you're here, except just find that sensation and just tune in, listen in. Three more breaths. Keep the left hand on the left knee, release the right hand. And again, just take a little rock with that left hip out to the side. So again, just keeping the knee bent as you go, just give a little rock just out and back in again, out to the side and back to centre. I'm going to give you two options for the next pose. You're either going to straighten your left leg to meet the right. So both legs are completely outstretched. Option one. Second option is to bend both knees and take a seed pose where we're hugging both knees in on the bolster. So either option. Both are stretching through the back. With our legs extended, we're going to feel maybe a bit more of a stretch front of the hips as well. But both options are just working to stretch out the back here. And again, we're finding some stillness. So either knees just hooking in, hips staying supported, finding stillness here. More legs extended. Both feet to the end of the mat, just stretching legs long, and the knees and the heels just press down, the hips stay supported, hands rested by side of body, palms up to the sky. As always with our yin practice, it may be slower, we may have less movement, but the benefits are just as good. We find a deeper stretch for longer. Whichever option you've taken, we're going to come and meet with the knees bent. If you're in the seed pose, you can just drop one foot to the mat at a time. If you've got the legs extended, again, you might want to bend one knee at a time, just so that you've got knees up to sky, feet resting down. And we'll bring a little bit of movement here, just into the feet. Press the toes down, just lift the heels up. Press the heels down, lift the toes up. So just start to just draw a bit of movement into the feet here. The knees are bending, the hips are still supported on your props. Press the weight through the feet, start to lift the hips away from your bolster and we're going to glide bolster or prop just away from underneath us. You might want to just roll it all the way down so it's at your knees and just take a moment to pause here. The back can really flatten here, the belly can really soften. And then we'll take some rebounding movement, start to glide the bolster all the way away to the end of the mat. You can use your feet to maybe just roll it down. And we'll take some windshield wipers, so bend the knees, reach the arms out to the side of the body. And just windscreen wipe the knees from side to side. You can have the knees apart, the feet apart. Just drawing yourself from right to left here, maybe moving that head and neck as well. If you've got anything underneath your head and neck, you might want to just pop it out now, just so you can really invite in some movement through the shoulders and the neck as well. Yeah, lovely. And 
and then starting to hug the knees into the chest. We're going to rock and roll either up into sitting or maybe just take a little rock and roll and then come onto the side. We're going to start to draw ourselves all the way into an upright position. So just take your time, just start to bring your head and neck into an upright position. And we're going to come into uh, a deep pose just with our prop. So let's start with the feet resting down, the knees pointing up to the sky. Dropping that right knee down to the mat into that little butterfly shape. We're going to draw our left leg behind us here. And I'll give you another option if this doesn't work for the hips and the knees. If you're comfortable and you're here and you have a bolster or a couple of cushions, you're going to roll it in and you're going to bring it in line with the knee and the thigh. So rather than forwards or behind, it's just going to be a gentle little bit of rotation. We're then going to come and fold forwards here. So you could let your elbows, wrists and hands come down. If it feels too far away, you could maybe take a couple of extra cushions just to lift you up a bit higher. So you can fold that body forwards. And second option, if the left hip and knee aren't working for you here, is to straighten that left leg out in front and come and do the same. So you could do exactly the same, just rest in a seated tree pose. Left leg out in front, right foot just tucking in towards the left and the thigh. And again, just bringing your bolsters so that they're roughly in line with the right hip, right knee. So you can take a little bit of a twist here. Yeah, a little bit of rotation. Nice. Okay, so from what I can see, everyone's looking great. The only thing um, I would say is just try and support your head and neck. So if your head and neck are floating a little bit, just try and soften down. Let the head and neck rest onto a prop or let your head and neck rest onto your hands. When we're working with yin, it's really quite a focused practice. So we should really just be finding some intensity in either the upper or the lower body, not both together. So this is to work the lower body, open the hips, rotate through the back which means I want that upper body supported. We're resting here. Take any adjustments that you need and then find that stillness. And you may want to just ask yourself here, what is it that gives you that sense of freedom? No right or wrong. Just notice maybe what comes up for you. Take a full breath in and out. Start to lift up just nice and gently through the head and the neck. And then just slowly arrive yourself back to centre. Nice. Before you come out of this, we're going to do a little counter twist. So you're going to bring the hands down to the right hip and just take a little twist over to the right. And then come over to the left and just take a little twist over to the left, almost like you're looking behind you here. And we're going to move between the right and the left. So the hands can just come down, little twist to the right. Hands can come down, little twist to the left. Yeah, doesn't need to be too specific, but just inviting a little bit of movement here. And then just slowly guide the knees to face back up to the sky. So we've got the hips just pressing down and just give yourself a hug here. Let's round through the back, hug the knees in. Then again, feel free just to stay here. Often this feels quite nice to release in a C shape when we've been in more rotation. So you can just stay still or you could take a little rock if that feels good. If you want to take a bit of movement, nothing too big or fast, just nice and gentle.
So setting ourselves up for the other side to prepare. Come and drop the left hip and knee down to the side. You're creating a diamond or a triangle shape with the left leg. Again, two options. We could straighten the right leg if you want to come to a seated tree pose or deer pose where we're opening both hips, start to draw the right leg behind. We're getting or drawing the sole of the left foot somewhere on that right thigh. So there's some connection of left foot to meet the right thigh. And again, we'll bring our props in. Just be mindful with bolsters, they can be a bit heavy, so you might not want to actually lift them, just maybe give them a little sort of gentle move. <laughs> And then we'll bring it just in line with left knee. So again, we're not facing forwards. We're not rotating all the way around. It's just a little semi uh, rotation with the back. And again, we'll start to fold forward. So use as many props as you need. That upper body wants to be nice and relaxed here. Really allow yourself to fold forward. So we're coming over that knee. And if you need a few more blankets, a few more props, then just grab them. You might find one side feels a bit more comfortable or accessible than the other. And again, just feel free to adjust a little bit. If it feels a little much, then feel free to come to that slightly less intense option. We could come into that seated tree pose and just let the body fold forwards. Adjust in any way that you need, as always with you, and it takes our nervous system, so our brain, our spine, our connective tissue, it takes us about 90 seconds to really allow ourselves to get into a shape that's comfortable. So you don't have to get there immediately. If it's taking a minute or so, perfectly normal. Feel free to adjust and then bring yourself into this place of stillness. And I've been working with the affirmation this week. I am free from perhaps just inserting a word or something that you might like to feel a little bit freer from. Perhaps that's worry, stress, pain, pressure. I am free from. Taking a full breath in and out here. Let's start to lift up just through the head and neck, just taking your time. And again, we'll take those little counter twists. So when you're ready, just taking a little twist with the arms over to the left, looking behind you. And a little counter twist over to the right, just gently sweeping from right to left. No big movements here, just nice and gentle. Take your time. Just gently rotating right to left. And again, we've done lots of twisting this evening. So come and bring yourself into neutral by hugging the knees into the chest. And again, just maybe dropping chin to chest center and allowing yourself just to give yourself a little bit of a hug. Yeah, come back just into more of a neutral position with the hips and the knees. Feeling free just to rock from side to side like a little ball. And then taking this seed pose now, we're going to come onto our back. Again, you may want to just have cushions, blankets ready uh, just to come into relaxation in the moment. So we're going to roll that up all the way down and you're going to hug those knees into the chest without any support underneath the hips this time. Just take a hug with the knees, maybe a little rock and roll, easing out any Tension maybe through the back. Once you're here, you could give those ankles maybe a little circle around. And 
And we'll also just take a few little waves with the knees. So keeping the hands just on the knees, just come and circle the knees around again, just to release a little bit through the back. All of those twists really work right from the head all the way down to the very lower part of the back. So just ease out any final tension in the back with all of those twists that we've done. And then if it's comfortable and you prefer to have a bolster up under your knees for relaxation, then feel free to roll it under. If not, then just come and lie yourself in any position that's comfortable. That could be on your back, on your side, as always. Just take any position that feels comfortable for you. You might want to just wrap yourself up if you've got a blanket. It may be nice just to really tuck those toes just under with the blanket. And just come in to find a comfortable position. So welcoming in this practice of relaxation. Come into line any way that feels good for you and your body. Beginning to just let the shoulders relax down and away. You may want to take a gentle shrug or roll of the shoulders. Beginning to soften through the elbows, wrists and hands, all the way down to the fingertips. Come and soften through the chest area, through the belly, through the hips knees, ankles, all the way down to the toes. Here is your time and your space just to rest. There is nothing else that you need to do right now. Everything that you need to have done is done. Everything else can wait until tomorrow. In this space, begin to bring your mind back to a time where you felt free. A sense of freedom, Perhaps joy, excitement, perhaps it's a memory of a holiday, a time in your life, or simply just the feeling, the feeling of freedom. Reminding yourself here in this space that you are free and that you invite in freedom and space within your life. Letting go of any boundaries expectations, rules or judgments. A 
allowing the mind and the body to be in this place of freedom and of calm. We're going to take the next few minutes just with some affirmations. And you don't need to think hard. You don't need to even connect with them at all. You just need to receive them. Just listen. Listen to the words. Receive the words. They may float in. They may just wash over you. If it resonates, you may wish just to say it again in your mind, one or two times. I draw freedom and peace into my life. I draw freedom and peace into my life. I allow my mind to feel free. I allow my mind to feel free. I am free from the noise around me. I am free from the noise around me. I make time to listen to what my body needs. I make time to listen for what my body needs. In into place, just one hand on the belly now and one hand on the chest. Just come to seal these words in towards yourself, sealing this practice. Take a few moments just to breathe easy here. Letting your breath rise, letting your breath fall. Perhaps just starting to notice if you feel a little bit more spacious here. Just checking back in with the mind, maybe just a little calmer, softer. And releasing the hands, we'll come and roll onto the side of the body and just slowly, in your own time, just starting to make your way back into sitting, just to come and seal this relaxation and this practice together. We'll come and draw the palms, stick the thumbs and fingertips meeting. Bringing the thumbs just in towards the centre of the chest. Just allowing your chin to drop to the chest. A moment just of gratitude for your mind, your body, your spirit. Just allow you to practice here. Thank you so much for joining me.